everyone. This is Yvonne from Yvonne Ceramics. In today's video, I'm going to show you my homemade airbrush setup. We're going to do it outside and we'll try to airbrush this Christmas dish. My setup is based on Jim Bowles home airbrush setup. So you can check out his original video in the description below. So first let's talk about our equipment. We have the air compressor. This one is Ryobi. I got it from Home Depot. It is cordless. It has a rechargeable battery. It is connected to an air hose here. And I got this air hose from Amazon. This is a Blogan by Husky brand. I got it from Amazon as well. So if you want to look at the packaging, it's this one. And this one is about $30. And for glazes, the consistency is very important. It has to be like a liquid tea cream base. So I'm choosing Amaco's Cherry Blossom and Wasabi for my test today. And I have a spoon to scoop out my glazes into my atomizer. So this is where I'll put the glaze in. And then this is where the glaze will come out and this specific tube connects the atomizer to the blowgun like that i'll include the dimension of this plastic tube in the on the screen and also you need some protection equipment so eyeglasses and a mask another piece of equipment that i have is the cardboard box when I first started airbrushing, I didn't have the carpet box, so all the glazes splattered everywhere. It was really messy. So this time I'm going to try the air carpet box. I like this box because it is big enough that I can put my turntable inside. But for the purpose of today, using the Christmas dish as my test, I don't need the turntable. So I'm just going to put it at the back and I'm going to spray one color on the top and then another color on the bottom. I like to use my spoon to stir up the glaze a little bit before pouring it into the atomizer cup. This is the consistency that you want for airbrushing the glazes. So I have filled the cup to one third full of glazes and then now I'm going to put the cap on and then we can start glazing. I sprayed three layers of glazes to get an even consistency. Alright everyone, so I finished airbrushing the pink on the top part here and then I airbrushed the wasabi glazes on the bottom and overlap a little bit here. So we'll see how this turns out. So make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any videos and I'll be unloading this dish very soon. So watch out for my unloading video. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you find the video helpful. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. See you next time everyone. Bye bye.